the guy that Suge ran over. Um, Terry what? Carter. No, 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 no. The, the, sorry. Well, yeah, he, he ran him over, of course. But the, the guy who he, he ran over as well, but it didn't, didn't kill him. Oh, he hit with the rear view mirror or something? Yeah. That mm-hmm. was, uh, who was that? What, what, Bone? What, yeah, that was supposed to be Bone. Bone. Yeah. Uh, Bone refused to testify against Suge. Facts. He got on the stand and said, I'm not going to. He actually blamed himself. Matter of fact, he said he said that my actions got got Terry killed. That's gangster. Is that what you would have done? That's gangster. That's accountability. I can't. I can't say. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't have testified against him. I can say that much. Yeah. But I don't know what what my reply would have been to the whole situation. But okay. So if you were there, mm-hmm. you just watched your friend get killed. Mm-hmm. You would not testify in that situation even though you were right there you saw it all your your friend is not because if it's enough for me to testify vlad then it's enough for me to avenge my friend Mm. so i would keep it all the way street and i wouldn't testify but me not testifying that would personally self-obligate me to handle the situation okay do you see that the, the logic of that kind of creates a re- revolving door into prisons? It does. See what no, I'm saying? No, it actually does. But, w- but what do we do? Do we rely on the same law that oppresses us and rise down on us and incarcerates us at disproportionate uh, uh, ratios? <laughs> to do we, we help them get rid of us? You know what I'm saying? I but mean, but by, by taking the law into your own hands, you are actually helping them get rid of you because... You may see it as the proper thing to do, but the law does not. Fuck so, the law. So ultimately, you end up going back to prison by what you feel is doing the right thing. Not necessarily. You be you do things a lot wiser. You know, I I, I spoke to some kids at a probation school last week. Um, at they you know at they winter thing, they guess they was finna go out out of school or whatever. And um, you know, it was like, I mean. You got accountability is everything, you know what I'm saying? So the re, you know the revolving door and the the you know the law, uh, uh, the law dictates you know how you should go about this. And they don't even follow their own laws. What we look like following the law? Really? What we look like following the law? The law don't follow their own laws. Many brothers they get they gun down. No pistol. No nothing. What what happened to them when they go amongst the court of their peers? What happened to them? Oh, uh, justified shooting. You know what I'm saying? Putting back up, putting back out there in the field so they can go shoot some more niggas. Come on, yeah. they don't they don't operate by their own laws. So I'm not gonna tell people to oh yeah be assimilate into the system and all that. It's like be accountable for your own actions. Get yours. Whatever the situation is, if you feel justified, you know what I'm saying by how you handle something or go about something, and in the avengeance of a friend you know, or somebody that you love, yeah, I would get more satisfaction out of handling that situation myself than and knowing that, yeah, homie, that's that's my pack that I that I I share with you. I'm willing to go all the way out because of my love for you, you my friend, and I know this dude did this. So I want to see him out here so I can handle it. You think smarter as you get older. That was that's the key. You think smarter as you get older so you don't go pull up to his house and just gun him down, you plan a way to get him and knock him off to where you don't get caught. As you get older, you get smarter. You devise certain ways to do things differently. So you don't just go surrender yourself to the law. Oh yeah, I'ma let him get out so I can run up like New Jack City and gun him down, you know what I'm saying? And fuck my life off. Right, but you know, just to be fair in the world of camera phones and you know, cameras on every street corner and eyes in the sky you're probably not gonna get away with it you're probably not gonna get away with it i can agree with that you know what i'm saying yeah, it's not like the that. 70s where you could shoot someone in a back alleyway and then that's just that like you know what i mean like the, in 2018 it, it's it's not the same playing field no, no, you know it's, it's, it's stacked against you right right you know right. It, it's, it's just stacked against you right. like you know 
that whole that whole scenario. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily advise anyone to exact vengeance yeah. on their own for a situation that you know for a crime or something like that. Yeah. That's just how I. You know, if I felt that it was enough for me to tell on a person and get him locked up to never see the streets again or whatever, whatever, then I should give him a fair shake at touching down and me handling the business if I felt it was serious enough yeah. f to take you off the streets for that. That's a cold, that's a cold deal, man, taking somebody away from their family and loved ones and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, their kids and, you know, just life, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a cold deal, man. Absolutely.